Hello there and welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to take a look at the new Tello drone from a company called Rise Robotics. Now this little drone is a little bit special because it's been designed in partnership with DJI and it is using both Intel and DJI technology inside to provide some really outstanding features for a product of this type. So let's go and take a look at the spec and walk through what it can do and go from there. So as you can see, the Tello is being marketed as a drone for new users. Um, it does little things like flips and things like that, and is designed to be used either indoors or very low level. It does not have GPS, so the first thing to get out of the way is it will not have GPS position hold. However, it does use DJI's vision positioning system technology, which means it will still indoors have very, very steady position hold. And it does have a barometer as well, so it knows how high it is. If we get over to the main page, you can see that they really are pushing this for new users. It's the technical details that I'm really more interested in than some of that stuff. So if we go down to here, you can see it will have a VR headset capability. It uses DJI's flight technology. And again, that is the flight controller. And it will be an app-based device. So it means this runs on Wi-Fi and you would primarily control it from your smartphone via the Tello app. And this app will be available for both iOS and Android. They have also said that there will be controller compatibility, so you will be able to use this with certain third-party controllers as well. Scrolling down to some of the details, it has a 13-minute flight time with 100 meters flight distance. It has a 720p HD transmission link back from the drone to your smartphone, and it uses antenna diversity. Looking further down, you can see some of the little features that they've included in this. It's got throw and go, so you will literally toss it in the air and it will start to fly. It's capable of doing 8D flips and it's got something called bounce mode, which flies up and down from your hand automatically. They've also included something called Easy Shots that allows it to record short videos with Circle 360 up and away. And that's the type of things you've seen on a lot of the more expensive drones, making it easy to create some really quite cool shots from the drone. It does use image stabilization, so it does not have a gimbal. That is something I should stress. There is no gimbal, but it does have electronic image stabilization. It uses an Intel processor with 14 cores to yield high quality footage, and it takes up to five megapixel photos. Now there is something I should say about this. This drone does not have an internal SD card. So whilst it takes five megapixel photos, those photos are transferred to the smart device via the wireless link. There are no internal storage for storage in images it all goes via the wireless link to the smart device looking over some of the technical specifications you can see they include propeller guards it also has an intel 14 core processor and that handles a lot of the smart features and technologies it also has vision positioning system on the bottom as well so this is how it is able to hover very very accurately in place and as i said earlier this drone does not have gps so whilst outdoors it wouldn't have gps hold it does use that vision positioning system to be able to provide that really steady position hold at low level and it only weighs 80 grams so this is a really really small drone it also has a load of the other features like auto takeoff which we're used to seeing on many of them these days low battery protection fail safe protection and as i said just now the vision positioning system Another thing which is pretty much a first for any drone is something they've called Learn and Create. Now, this drone is programmable, so it means it has an SDK and supports Scratch, which is an MIT-developed coding system. Now, I haven't used that myself. However, if it's anything like Arduino or any of those, it'll be really straightforward. So this is really something along the lines of Cosmo, and it will allow you to do visual block-based programming. It supports the SDK, and it will have DIY accessories available as well. This means it's going to be unbelievably interesting for kids and new users, because you're going to be able to program it to do stuff basically that we haven't seen before on any drone. This Learn and Create section is going to be really, really interesting. I'm excited about this for my kids because it means I can introduce them to this technology with the fun of programming like I've done with Cosmo and it allows them to really get involved and learn this stuff from an early age. 
It's going to be available in three colors, which is yellow, white, and blue. And this is purely a skin that is available on the top. If we jump in now to the technical specs in a little bit more detail, you can see it weighs approximately 80 grams and that is its size, which is 98 by 92.5 by 41. It uses a three inch prop and it has a built in rangefinder, barometer, LED vision system, Wi-Fi at 2.4 gigs. As I said, the live feed is 720p over Wi-Fi and it only has a micro USB charging port on board. It's got a flight distance of 100 meters and a maximum speed of 8 meters a second. And the battery is a 1S 1.1 amp hour. Now this is a custom battery, so it will not take a standard LiPo. The camera resolution is 5 megapixel, which is 2592 times 1936, and it has an 82.6 degrees field of view. And as I said earlier, it does use electronic image stabilization because there is no gimbal. Now, DJI are going to be distributing this drone via the DJI website, so when you go onto it, you are able to go on and order it direct from them. Now, it isn't currently available, its initial stocks have gone out, and what my understanding is, this will be available very early in February. As it says here, this product is manufactured by Rise Technology and DJI have a hand in helping them with that. You can see from these pictures that it is a really, really small little drone. And again, for something for this price point to have all of these features is basically unheard of. It really is. If we look at some of the features of the product, if we go onto here, you can see that the battery is going to be available for $19. Now, whilst that's a little bit more than you would find on some of the very, very small drones, it's really not that bad for a product of this type. You know, a couple of packs at 19 quid each isn't going to break the bank for anybody. Overall, I am extremely excited about this little drone because it is unlike anything else that is out there before. As I have said, it does have a 5 megapixel camera with image stabilization because there is no gimbal. It does support taking images. However, there is no storage on the drone itself that is sent directly back to the smart device. It will have compatibility for third party controllers and it does support that programming feature which we haven't seen on any other drone before. I am really, really excited about this little thing and I will be having one of these as soon as I can possibly get one and I will be doing a whole host of videos on it. If you would like to order this new product there are links in the description for this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and for any further information I will do another video again soon.